Before too long, the damage will be irreversible. going on. Sudan, the largest country in Africa, lies where the Sahara Desert meets the grasslands of the Sahel. Since its independence in 1956, civil wars between Sudan's north and south have killed millions and displaced millions more. Now a new conflict has emerged in its westernmost region, called Darfur. Nearly the size of France, this vast region has been neglected for years by the government. Darfur means land of the four, a Muslim African tribe indigenous to the area. The region is inhabited by many tribes that are racially and culturally intertwined. But despite these cultural similarities, groups of farmers who are viewed as African and groups of herders who are considered Arab have had clashes over the land for decades. Droughts, famines, desertification, and population pressures have added to the rising tensions. Since 2003, rebel groups have fought against the government, accusing it of supporting the Arab herders over the African farmers. The government's response caused a mass exodus, forcing villagers to become refugees in their own homeland. In this United Nations refugee camp along the Chad-Sudan border, the women and children here seek asylum from the Janjaweed, the armed militias of Arab herders organized by the government to fight the rebels and kill civilians. Entire villages have been burned, hundreds of thousands have died. Beatings, rapes, and mutilations are used as weapons of terror. Around two million people, almost a third of Darfur's population, have fled their villages. These refugees have lost everything, but they are the lucky ones. Most still wander the land, unable to go home, their lives still at risk. Despite international pressure, the fighting still continues. And in Darfur, the people are still dying.